Well, happening today, it's Angel Tree Distribution Day for the Salvation Army in Harlingen. And there are changes this year. Channel 5's Crystal Martinez introduces us to an angel family. Here at the Salvation Army in Harlingen, volunteers are working hard to give kids a Christmas that may otherwise not have had one this year. See, see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Edna Torres was one of many hit hard by the pandemic. Both she and her husband lost their jobs. Since we've been uh, going through some struggling times, and uh, it really just helps up, uh, helps us out a lot um, uh, to provide a good Christmas for our kids. Her family is still recovering, and with four kids, she says without the Salvation Army, they may not have had presents to open Christmas morning. This is a great way to uh, just see joy in our kids, which is what we really want most. Thank you. Merry Christmas. And the Salvation Army says it's something they strive to do when they are looking for angels to support. We asked the parent during the interview process, what are some of the things that your children would love to have for Christmas? What are those things that they're talking about, that they're excited about, that they want to ask Santa for? And um, then we write those down. Once they have the want list items, they ask the parents about what the children need, like new clothes. We print off angel tags and we put them on a tree in our lobby or at a local Walmart, and people go and select an angel. I adopted an angel and brought it back, and they said, can you help us? Said, yeah, I'll come back and help. I'm glad I did. Lisa and several other volunteers are helping to give out more than 2,000 presents, but this year it's not all about the kids. The seniors in the past we have not done seniors and this year we are doing the senior citizen. Anybody 65 and older, they are getting food but also they are getting a gift. Hoping to remind them that they are special too and deserving of a nice holiday. So many of them sometimes are forgotten and so this year we say, you know what, you are important and we are going to make it special for you. Now another thing that they're doing different is actually gifting their leftover toys that they have to those across the border. They say that there are plenty of orphanages that need help in Mexico and altogether they just want to help children. Crystal Martinez, Channel 5 News.